everyone. I'm Steve here with Jesse Townsend. Jesse is our training director at Parkway Athletic Club in South Reno. Uh, there's also a Parkway in uh, up at the St. Mary's campus. So um, thanks for being with us, Jesse. Yeah, man. Happy to be here. All right. So you started TRT. And uh, if you guys, you know, there's always a link in these descriptions. If you guys are interested in finding out more from a clinic that um, I have an affiliation with, it's Royal Medical. There's a phone number there. You can use the uh, promo code Vitality1 and you get a great discount off a price. It's already great. Um, so it's... Uh, like 195 the first month and then it's uh, 150 the next five months and that includes all your consultations all your blood work and your medication that's a phenomenal deal now i always recommend and suggest that you also check with some other clinics get other opinions find out what uh, clinic is best for you um, you might want to find a local clinic that does um, TRT, testosterone replacement or hormone therapy. And uh, you might be more comfortable with that, but that just gives you an idea. I want you to get an idea of the price. Now, you're not gonna get that value that you get at Royal in many places, but that gives you an idea. You may wanna do something local, but you guys go investigate that yourself. But we're gonna talk to Jesse. Jesse, how many weeks has it been since you started so i'm going into week number five okay so five weeks now catch us up and you guys know i one of the reasons i'm a big advocate of testosterone replacement is because it's going to improve your health in every area you do it right it's going to improve your health in every area you're going to get leaner you're going to uh, burn up some body fat. You're going to put lean tissue on. You got to be eating protein and you got to be lifting weights. You got to do some of the right things. But if you do that, it's going to help benefit your health in every area. So give us a rundown, Jesse, of how you felt, you know, when you started, what's happening, what people are saying, probably accusing you of being on gear for sure now, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, so quite a few things, you know, uh, when I started, yeah, like I was mentioning, you know, my energy was just kind of down and, you know, not, not terrible. You know, I could still, I got through my days and, and some days I felt better than others, but overall, you know, it was down and, you know, sleeping habits weren't that good. And, you know, things that I knew I needed to work on as a professional and, and even, you know, for my own health, obviously. And, you know, then I, I thought, you know, let's see. Right. So when I thought about that, I, I thought of a couple of things. One, I didn't want to change, you know, some of the habits I had, like a lot of people do when they do different programs, they want to do change the diet, change everything. Right. And I wasn't really far off from eating healthy, you know, like probably like top 10% or so of, of how people eat, you know, in our nation. Um, but I had a couple, I still have a couple things like everybody that I don't do perfect with my diet. Uh, but I left those the same and I just kind of let the, let it do what it does. I kicked up my water and take a little bit for, you know, some reasons and, and just kind of, that's about the only thing I changed. Um, and now, so about week three, um, in, in week three is when I saw some, some differences. So I've been taking photos. I haven't been doing measurements and, and things like that, but I'm watching weight a little bit and I'm taking pictures to so we can actually see what happens. And um, yeah, week three, I saw basically my, my belly fat go down, um, you know, automatically, like my wife is saying to me, you know, about that same time, she's looking at me in the morning, getting ready and going, man, your waist and like the sides of your, your core and your body you know, below your chest is just getting really tight, you know, and I have so much muscle structure as it is that once that starts tapering in, you know, um, you know, it looks, it looks great. It feels great. I move better. And yeah, so like week three, big gains and now two clients, you know, that have seen me for years and, and people that see me daily, all of them um, are saying stuff about it. Like, man, you know, and I didn't share with many of them what I'm doing. Um, not for any particular reason with some of them know, 
but even the ones that don't know are going, dude, you're, you're getting just like really tight, right? Like, what are you doing? Your, your body is, is really shaping up. So again, that's only, this is beginning of the program still, you know, in my opinion. So I think the bigger benefits probably come somewhere in, you know, months six and, and beyond something like that. So that's how I feel, but yeah, man, strength and, and all that stuff for sure. Everything has kind of gotten definitely a little bit better. So what did you're what 38 or so? What was your testosterone yeah. when you got it checked? What was the number? The number was 172. That's yeah. crazy low for a 38 yeah. year old. Yeah, that's pretty low. I'm, I'm telling I know you guys, I used to have clients and women. I'll get into the women in a second. Yeah, I I had I had clients yeah, that would you know go and get checked and. And they'd be low and I'd say, man, that's really low. And it would be, you know, somewhere in like the 200s or whatever. And then when I got mine checked, I thought, wow, that's crazy. I, I was like, how can I keep this muscle? How can I be strong? How am I doing all this stuff for what I know and, and have enough education to kind of say it at that level? And, you know, I'm like, that's in, that's just crazy. So I knew up had to happen, you know, and, and that's what is happening. You know, my my testosterone was low also. It wasn't that low. It was in the 300s, but I had no <laughs> symptoms. So just because you have no symptoms, uh, which are low libido, brain fog, lack of energy, and some other things, that doesn't mean your testosterone is not low. And even at a younger age, you want to get it tested so you have a baseline, so you know. So another quick question, Jesse, do you know what your free testosterone was? No, that one, I don't think we've tested it yet. I don't know what it is. So I want to, once I link back up, so um, I think I'm, so like I said, week five. So every two months, I guess about week eight, you know, probably is when they redo some of this stuff. I know I got to go get my blood work done again. And, and that's what they wanted me to do is every two months. So I, I, I'll, I'll find out. I'll, I'll ask them to see if I can make that a part of it. I know I can. If it's not through Royal, I can still do it through, you know, the place I'm going to go get my blood drawn through. Yeah. Ulta. Ulta Lab can do it. And uh, you just have to pay for it yourself. So um, it's really important to improve your health. And this, I did a short video on this, you know, because my wife is on TRT and it's been a good eight to 10 months. And in my short, I said, Hey, this might be a little too much information, uh, especially for my kids and her kids. But, um, <laughs> she's it's, they, women have the same symptoms. Her free testosterone was 0.4. I talked to the doc and I said, doc, um, my wife's free testosterone is 0.4. That's almost dead. <laughs> You need to bump the dose up. Yeah, but anyway, she's chasing me around the house. And I'm like, going, uh, there's, the, there's the, you know, too much information for my kids. But uh, it's crazy. You know, she's got this smile on my on her face and she's like, come back here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got, we have a lot of the same going on, man. Like, yeah, just, you know, changes the game a little bit, right? So yeah, it, it's a, it, again, it's amazing. Like what you said earlier, you know, you may think that you have everything functioning, you know, at, at, at a good level. And, and then even like, you know, that stuff like libido and everything you're talking about, but like little things, you know, like, like how, how hard is your body having to work for recovering, you know, repairing, if you are a person who works out and you have a, a legitimate protocol that you follow, you know, four or five days a week, you know, and, and, and if you're after the age of even 30 at, at some places, maybe younger, you know, depending on on what you were around when you were brought up, how you ate, the things that you did, uh, you know, your obviously genetic coding has something to do with this, too. Uh, but but other, otherwise, man, you could feel really good and still look pretty good. And but I, like I t said before, what I noticed was I didn't really have big, like I was saying, energy dumps or crazy bad sleeping. It was just little things, you know, and I just like a lot of people do. My clients do this. They say, well, I'm just getting older. You know, I, 
it is what it is. When I was in my whatevers, depending on where they're at, you know, when I was there, I was better, but now I'm not. And that's, and that's how a lot of people chalk it up. Right. And, and it's kind of like, okay, fair enough. For sure. As we age, things are going to change, but that doesn't mean that we have to have such a, such an extreme drop off and things like this. And the reason we do nowadays, my opinion is all this stuff we're exposed to, it, it, it's simple, meaning like all the bad stuff, you know, this isn't how our bodies acted when we were, you know, first coming up and, you know, in all these different ages where none of this other bad stuff that goes into ourselves every day by environment, by food, you know, by just basically, you know, our environmental standards and such, um, you know, now we're exposed to so much that it taps into everything, you know, it takes away body's resources. And so it's not really normal. You know, normal now is what people's obviously standard is. Where are we at now? Um, but not really normal to our to our biology. And so that's that's why, again, it shouldn't just be, in my opinion, accepted. You know, if you have somebody that's why having professionals on your side, you know, somebody like me or somebody that knows Steve and all of us that are trying to help people, you know, if you don't know the resources, you got to tap into somebody that can and and or, you know, because all in that too, looking everything up yourself, sometimes it's kind of hard. It's good if you have one person that you can trust that can kind of get you to these places. And um, but anyhow, yeah, you know, I don't think it should be accepted. I think everybody you know, in my opinion, should, you know, use resources, seek out information and, and match up and, you know, make some stuff happen. You make some really good points, Jesse. The first is why is testosterone so low in younger men and women? You know, once you hit menopause, that's when the issues can occur with the low T for women. Um, but the Xeno, um, you know, the, the plastics, the xenoestrogens and, and all this stuff, um, drinking out of plastic bottles, it all adds up. Um, so you, if you're in your twenties, it's never too early to find out what your baseline is because a lot of men, my age, they'll go get tested and they're 500 but they have all the symptoms. Well, guess what? 500 is not a good number for them. And if they would have got tested in their twenties, they would have found out that their testosterone was 1300. And now it's 500 more than cut in half. So that's why you want the baseline. It's really important. Get it tested. The sooner, the better. It's never too late. Now, testosterone replacement is something that you want to put off as long as possible. And you can yeah. do that making sure you've got your vitamin D, zinc, you know, all your minerals, magnesium, your, your exercising, your protein's good, your diet's good. You want to stave off going to that step of TRT because now you're looking at injections for the rest of your life, you know, yeah. and it, it's just a hassle. And so you want to, you want to put that off as long as you can, but if your testosterone is lower than 300, you know, my, what I would do again, we're not doctors, but I listen to a lot of doctors, a lot of doctors on this topic. And there's good stuff, you know, way better than what I'm talking about just on YouTube with doctors and people that are hormone specialists, do a search on YouTube. You'll find a lot of good stuff. Um, but you want to try everything that you can, your diet, you know, making sure your minerals and everything is right and, and see how high you can get that naturally before you go to an exogenous form of testosterone that's coming into your body. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that the timing, it does have a lot to do with, you know, how your body is going to represent itself going forward on a hormonal stance, you know, and um, yeah. And, and then there's people, of course, too, you know, they made mistakes with, you know, things like supplements, you know, that maybe they didn't look into far enough that did play with, you know, certain hormones. Because, you know, like I even know for me, years ago, you know, there was stuff out on the market. I didn't really know what it was exactly, but I knew that it was supposed to be for, you know, pr producing more tests and making you bigger and stronger. And, you know, it's all supplement stuff on the shelf. And, you know, years later you find out, well, this stuff was like, you know, close to, you know, the real stuff, meaning, you know, 
therapy through hormones, but you know, they were doing it with different little chemicals and different ways to put it together. And sure enough, you know, you mess with your, your own self at a young level. And then later on, you know, you probably pay, you know, some money back, so to speak on, you know, how, how it changes you. So, yeah, I think you have to be careful, man. The body is, is, you know, what it is and it's meant to be these certain ways. And once you throw it off, you know, we have this effect where many things kind of, you know, are thrown off. One thing, you know, is never just one thing usually. So yeah, I think you have to be careful with medicine and all that stuff when, when you conclude and yeah, watch and try to make it as long as you can with what your natural abilities are and, and try the things first that are natural probably to see if you can get to where kind of you want to be. But then from there, you know, later on in life, you know, like we're saying, probably it is a better idea if you need it to go to the TRT. Yeah, and I just want to really emphasize, don't try to do this on your own. Like Jesse was talking about, okay, I'm going to go do my own. Go through the proper medical clinic where a prescription is being written for you and you are being monitored by a medical professional. And the medications are coming from a compounding pharmacy or the proper pharmacy where you know what you're getting. That's the only way I would do this. Don't, don't try to cut corners and go a different way doing this stuff on your own and ordering from have the doctor or the clinic that you're working with involved. You got to do it that way. Yeah. Yeah. There is no other way, man. That's, that's how we do it. Okay. So, um, Jesse, thanks for the update. I can't wait to hear what the next one is. Cause you're right. You're just getting into this and you start to hit your maximum health. I mean, everyone's different. Yeah. But y- you start to really get the full health benefits, maybe six months, maybe a year into it. And you got to, you know, be monitoring the blood work and your, your physician, or in your case, Royal medical will be evaluating your blood work on a regular basis and making sure that your protocols dialed in. So thanks for the update, uh, Jesse, and we will talk to you soon. Sounds good. 